A new device keeping criminals locked out. Homeland Security recently calling ambulances a national security threat because they're so easy to steal. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us why this change could keep your family safe. This Sunstar truck 436 in route is on its first call of the day. Copy. Responding to a sick person in Pinellas County. It's one of eight to ten transports these EMTs typically make before the day is done. Leaving the truck running with no one inside is normal protocol. People are drawn to the size of the vehicle and the lights. Sunstar says that curiosity can lead to theft. In 2011, a man in Hillsborough County took off in this ambulance, leaving the patient, Kenneth Newsom, and the EMT behind. He got in, he looked around, and he was looking at him or whatever, and he just rolled off. It happened in Tarpon Springs in 2012 and again in Largo in 2016. And then in March, police say a man jumped in and took off running over an EMT in New York, killing her. Which is why Sunstar just installed anti-theft devices in every truck to keep the community safe. So I'm going to attempt to take this ambulance. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, try to get it out of park, but as you can see, it's locked. I can't do it. EMT officials are not here, so that lock is on. And they say that most likely the person that's trying to steal the ambulance isn't going to take the time to figure it out. They're just going to hop out and take off. A stranger tested it for them last month. It was just a random person in the street. They thought it would be cool to take an ambulance for a joy ride. Keep those nice deep breaths, okay? Instead, they were greeted by EMTs, fire rescue, and a patient in the back, and a lever that wouldn't budge out of park. It's not a joke. In Pinellas County, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.